In this video, I will introduce the idea of depreciation. And this is where engineering economics and finance sort of crosses over into the realm of accounting. And you'll see as we go through some of the problems related to depreciation, why we uh, can relate these types of time value of money and finance concepts and how we use them and apply them in accounting. Generally speaking, depreciation describes the loss in value of an asset. And an asset just is accounting jargon for anything that we buy and continue to own. There are a number of different reasons why uh, an asset loses value. Uh, things like simply wearing out, becoming obsolete, um, your book will describe in greater detail uh, the reasons or mechanisms by which assets lose value, but most of them are relatively intuitive. The other thing that we have to talk about when we introduce the idea of depreciation is we have to, have to introduce a little bit of accounting jargon. So make sure that you're familiar with the terms that we'll use. So in this particular problem we'll use to illustrate the idea of straight line depreciation, we introduce words like um, uh, salvage value, book value, market value. Um, these are all things that you really should make sure you understand the exact definitions of before you attempt to tackle these problems because the meaning of the words becomes very important. So. I'd like you to just pause the video, read this simple problem on straight line depreciation, and when you're ready to see the solution, restart the video. So in this problem, we learn of a company that purchases an asset for $150,000. And as we've already done in many times before, the, we, we view the purchase as occurring at now, time t equal to zero, and Therefore, it's convenient for us to use the familiar letter P to reference the purchase price of the asset today. The problem also introduces the idea of a salvage value. Now, salvage value, as I said in the introduction, is a bit of jargon. Make sure you understand what that means. In short, it's what will the equipment be worth at some point down the road, later in time how much will, be, will we be able to sell the asset for? And we're gonna give that S as the variable. And we're told in the problem, the salvage value of this asset is $25,000. And the time over which the purchase price reduces to the salvage value is 10 years. So the question asks, what is the book value of this equipment after four years using something called straight line depreciation? Now, straight line depreciation is the simplest of all forms of depreciation calculations, and I think it's um, appropriate to use as an introduction to the idea. We also have to understand what do, the, what do they mean by book value? Well, as um, an accountant, sort of looks at the value of the assets of a company, he assigns a certain loss in value each year to an asset. We call that the depreciation expense, and that occurs every year. So you can see when we go from a $150,000 purchase price to a salvage value of $25,000 10 years later, the simplest way to look at that really is with a linear reduction in value. So if I say my book value in dollars at time t equal to zero, where this is this axis is the asset's book value, and this is time. We purchased the asset in time t equal to zero for 150,000, and 10 years later, so we put a 10 here, 10 years later we have a value of 25,000. You can see that we lose value over time and a linear approximation of exactly how the value is lost is called straight line depreciation. Now, the asset doesn't really 
lose value continuously like a line. It loses value in discrete lumps equal to each year that the uh, firm prepares its financial statements. And we'll learn more about financial statements later on. So the question becomes, after four years, what is the book value of the equipment? Well, we don't need any kind of um, complicated time value of money equations to calculate this. Really, um, if we just think about it for a moment, we can say, you know what, if I have to go between 150,000 here and 25,000 here, and I want to know how much the book value declines each year, or in other words, what is the depreciation expense each year? The simplest way to think about that would just to say, be to say, I'll take 150,000 minus 25,000 and divide by 10 years. Right? So, and I can, I can refer to that um, really as the yearly depreciation yearly depreciation expense, and in this case, this would be $12,500 per year. And if I want to know the, the book value after four years, really I can just do 12,500 times four. 12,500 times four um, gives us um, fifty thousand dollars. And if I know I've accumulated fifty thousand dollars of depreciation over four years, and I started with a hundred and fifty thousand as my purchase price, then the book value at year four, we sometimes write it like this, would be a hundred thousand dollars, or a hundred and fifty minus fifty thousand. Now. The way that you may see formulas written for straight line depreciation in books, we may, you may see a formula that says the book value in year N is going to be equal to whatever the purchase price is minus the purchase price minus the salvage value divided by the time between the purchase price and the salvage value and all of this multiplied by n, where n is the end of the time period that we're interested in. So this is essentially what we've done in doing this calculation, but if we want to generalize it as a formula, you could write it like this. Most of the time, uh, with straight line depreciation, you should be able to just think about it and come up with a solution, but if you want to, formulas such as this can be found on the inside front cover of your textbook. But in other words, to just answer the question that was asked, the book value at the end of year four for this asset is $100,000.